Three, two, one. Welcome to another training video where we talk about uh, important radio terms for you to know. Uh, in this one, we're going to be talking about different types of tracks. Why must you interfere with my training? Is this Dayton's right choice? No! This is Patrick! I am not a radio station. Patrick, this is WWSU 106.9 FM. Dayton's right choice. Don't fish paste! So a track is a, um, it, it can be like a piece of music, it could be uh, a, a, something that's being said, uh, it can be uh, a pre-recorded audio for a radio show, and so on. Tracks are just basically, uh, think of it like a CD. You know, each music is its own track, or uh, each chapter of a story when you're listening to an audiobook is a track. Uh, tracks just divide the different music and different things that air on the station. So we're going to be talking about the different types of tracks and we're also going to be talking about uh, cue points in those tracks. So first off, let's start with the cue points. Um, the word cue itself can mean uh, two different things. So first off, cue can mean the beginning of a track. In our case, we don't use the term cue to refer to the beginning of the track. We use a different term called intro. Uh, to refer to the beginning of a track. In our case, we use the term Q uh, as it's intended on a mixer board. So we're going to go ahead and uh, move the camera here so I could show you what I mean here. So let's say you are in the on-air studio and you want to listen to, well, we're going to turn that channel off here for a second for this demonstration. You want to listen to a track that you want to play during your show. So you want to listen to it without it going on the air. That's where Q comes in. So you turn your comp channel on Q and then you can listen to the track through the uh, Q speaker here without it going on the air. Uh, Q is also helpful. So for instance, uh, let's say you're playing some background music while you're talking on the air. Uh, the microphones are going to actually mute the uh, speakers in the on-air studio because uh, we don't want feedback going through the microphones. So if you want to actually hear the background music that you're playing behind your uh, your dialogue, you could throw the uh, comp channel on cue while it's on the also on the air, uh, so that you could hear the background music through the speaker, uh, little speaker. Um, so that's cue for you. Let's talk about some other terms now. Um, we already mentioned intro. Intro can also mean uh, a track that is played at the beginning of a radio show. Um, so if you want to, you know, have some sort of theme song or, you know, just some sort of, you know, fun thing to play uh, when you start your show to indicate to listeners, hey, this is the start of X show. Uh, that's where an intro would come in. Next, we have jingles. Jingles are fun little audio clips that typically have, you know, uh, skits or maybe songs, singing, things like that. Uh, they promote different uh, products, services, companies, organizations, events, uh, things like that. They're not necessarily, they don't promote the radio station. Uh, that's a different type of track, which we're going to get into. But they promote, they're kind of like uh, fun advertisements. We'll just say, we'll just put it at that. Next, you have the legal ID, also known as the station ID or the top of the hour ID. This is required by the Federal Communications Commission or the FCC. Every radio station in the United States has to play a legal station ID at the top of every hour. The legal ID consists of the call letters of the radio station, the frequency that the station is broadcasting on, and the market area of the radio station. So in our case, our legal and station IDs would have WWSU 106.9 FM, Fairborn Dayton. And as I mentioned in a previous video, you absolutely have to say Fairborn first, then Dayton, because we cover all of Fairborn and only a part of Dayton. So it is required by every DJ to, ha uh, to take a break at the top of every hour. 
our system uh, automatically determines what time it is when you take a break. And so it will know that you are taking the top of the hour ID break uh, when you go to break at the top of the hour. And so it will play the legal ID automatically. You just have to click uh, the take a break button in DJ controls. Uh, let's talk sweepers. So kind of like jingles, uh, sweepers are fun promotional uh, tracks. However, they promote the radio station itself instead of, you know, products, services, companies, organizations, etc. So a sweeper is like a, a promotional thing for the radio station. Uh, and our DJs go crazy with sweepers. They make some very fun sweepers. Uh, sometimes they take clips from movies or television. And uh, we, we even have skits. Like, for instance, um, we have a couple of DJs uh, who put together... Uh, skit to promote the radio station that kind of reflects on the uh, is this a crusty crab? No, no this, is Patrick. this is Patrick. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun sweepers there. A liner, by contrast, is a very short sweeper. So it's generally seven seconds or less. Um, sweepers play during actual uh, commercial breaks during the radio station, uh, whereas liners they'll play in between uh, the music at certain times just to remind listeners that hey you're listening to wwsu 106.9 that's basically what a liner does next we have promos promos unlike sweepers and jingles do not advertise the radio station or um companies or organizations instead promos advertise your radio shows so when you sign up to do a radio show uh, you can make a promo to promote your radio show. And promos are randomly aired during our breaks to promote everybody's radio show. Uh, we have Segway. You're not really going to use this too much, uh, but you could if you want to. A Segway <clears throat> kind of, as the name implies, segs between either two music tracks or two different segments of a radio show. For instance, Let's say you're doing a radio show and you go to commercial break. You might have a segue between your show and the commercial break. That segue might be an audio clip that says, we'll be back to X show right after these messages. You could also have a seg leading back in to your radio show. For instance, uh, just after the commercials are done, you might have a seg that says, welcome back to blank show on WWSU 106.9 FM. Uh, and finally, we have voice tracks. Voice tracks are little segments that we do on the radio station that air at the top, usually at the top of every hour. So uh, voice tracks are audio recordings that are updated on a regular basis to contain up-to-date information. This can be uh, news, you know, breaking news. Uh, this is weather forecasts. Um, this is also Cork Minute, so we do a segment called Cork Minute where we talk about the upcoming events on campus. Uh, or they can be campus announcements or bulletins. For instance, we had a drinking water warning in effect at one point uh, where there was contamination of the Red State water supply. So we had a voice track that uh, played every so often to remind listeners not to drink the campus water. Things like that. Uh, so those are some terms. Uh, in terms of the types of tracks that air on the station. And thank you for listening to this video, and uh, I'll see you again when we cover more terms for radio.